So I'm going to do a crash course of the burritos today. Um, so I've already chopped up everything. I got my water boiling because I'm going to make some rice. I chopped up some um, cherry tomatoes, uh, fresh, uh, fresh onions, and, and some garlic. I'm going to um, put the tomatoes into a different skillet with olive oil right here. And then my um, onions and my garlic in the bigger skillet. And then I'm also going to take my pre-cut green peppers and sprinkle a little bit of those in there. Alright. And then I'm going to open up my corn. Okay, so I have my corn and I drained it. I'm gonna pour it in the same pan as my tomatoes. Okay. All right, put my corn mixed in with my tomatoes. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to season my corn and my tomatoes with some pepper. Some salt. And Cajun seasoning. I'm sorry. No, I'm going to use, yeah, I'm going to use Cajun seasoning. But I'm not going to use my Tony's, I'm going to use this one. to pour this into my um, skillet with my green peppers, my onions, and my garlic. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a can of water. I'm sorry, a half a can of water. And then I'm going to turn the heat down to a five and mix all that in with the beans. Yum, yum, yum. All right, and we're just gonna let the beans cook for a minute. While you wait for that, I'm going to do my rice. I'm just gonna pour some rice in here. Actually, I'm gonna do a cup. I'm pretty sure I poured two cups of water, so I think I'm gonna do two cups of rice, but I'm pretty sure it boiled down. I'm gonna do a cup and a half. turn this heat down okay actually I am gonna go back to a simmer so at like a one and then I'm gonna put a top on it put a cap on it okay so um this bean mixture is gonna be like a filling um, so since we're not going to have meat in our burrito, the rice is going to be, you know, the carbs. And this is going to be our vegetables in our burrito. Our corn and our um, tomatoes. Okay, so my bean mixture is boiling right now, so now I'm going to season it. I'm going to season it with chili powder. And what we're 
we're gonna do with this is this we're waiting for all the water to boil down making some nice fluffy beans do a little last minute add i'm gonna add some um frozen peppers to my mixed peppers to my corn and my tomatoes mm -hmm. i feel like that's gonna be pretty good you can make vegetables Here it is, my water boiled out of my beans, and my corn, and my mixed vegetables, and my tomatoes, all cooked. And this only took like 10, 15 minutes. So what I'm about to do now is um, turn this heat down. I'm about to turn that, I turn that heat down into uh, two. And then I'm going to mash my beans. up pretty good as of right now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my corn tomatoes and mixed pe peppers and put it in with my beans. my corn and all my vegetables in there mixed with my beans I'm going to mix it all together to spread the little bean mixture out some in the corn make sure I get the tomatoes in there mix in the beans along with all the peppers as well well mixed in there. I turn my heat down to low. I'm letting this sit in here for a minute. Let it all cook together. All the flavors and stuff like that. Because I put two different kinds of seasonings in both of the corn and the beans. So they have to kind of take time to mix. My rice is done. Fresh rice. Love it. I have my skillet all cleaned out. I'm about to turn it on. Actually, I'm It's all done. It. Look at how nice that looks. I turned all off my heat for my beans and my rice. My rice is all done. Now I'm just cooking my tortillas.